MMA Boxing Talk here coming at you with another video. I want to put out a video talking about two fights today that took place in, over in London. Um, David Hay was taking on Arnold, not even going to try to say his last name, relative nobody. Um, and I also want to talk about Shannon Briggs, who um, was fighting some Zerati guy, Zerati. Uh, whatever, he was 20-16-1 and one <laughs> before this fight, um, Shannon Briggs was supposed to fight Ustinov, but there was a last minute change up, I think, I don't know, David Hay, David Hay's team basically s screwed Briggs over, but in the end, like, the Ustinov fight could have been a lot tougher, who knows, maybe he, he would have lost it, I don't know, regardless of that though, um, both Shannon Briggs, David Hay won by KO, um, and, you know, both their opponents were basically, it was a mismatch, you know, neither fight should have even happened, um, Briggs' opponent, you know, took this day, this fight on four days notice, and, you know, he had almost as many, you know, losses as he had wins, he was 20 and 16, but, um, apparently, it, it it's official, I don't know, I mean, it, sh that, Br uh, Briggs is gonna fight Hay next, um, Shannon Briggs has been saying, you know, for a while now that, uh, well, a while, a few weeks there, maybe a month, I don't know, that, the, you know, if they both win their next fight, Shannon Briggs and David Hay are going to fight each other, and, you know, a lot of people right now are saying that, that it's official, I hope it is, I mean, I want to see this, why not, you know, <clears throat> I don't really see David Hay as, as uh, one of the elite heavyweights, you know, maybe he's top 10, top 15, but, like, when you're talking about the elite six, he's not in the category, he's not in that conversation, um, and, you know, let's leave those elites fight each other, um, but, you know, I, I'm not saying eventually David Hay doesn't, you know, deserve to fight a top six elite guy, I mean, he should, but, um, fight Shannon Briggs, I mean, why not, let's go champ, Everyone wants to see this fight, you know, um, and David Hay would be the favorite, you know, um, I mean, I, 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 I would have to pick David Hay to win this, I mean, he's, he's younger, he's faster, he's, you know, slicker, I mean, he's just, he's got more tools, but, um, and you know, he's more mobile in there, and, and he, but whatever, um, I want to see this fight, you know, everyone wants to see this fight, um, and really, David Hay doesn't, I mean, as much as people maybe want to see him fight a top six guy, he doesn't really, he's not in that conversation, so, and he's been fighting bums regardless, so, fight Shannon Briggs, who's a, uh, you know, basically a household name now with him on social media, um, let's go champ, let's go champ, no, but, you know, let's see this fight, everyone wants to see it. It's not a mismatch. I mean, um, I mean, Shannon, like I said, David Hayes the favorite, but I mean, at least this guy has. At least it's going to be interesting in the first round or the first two rounds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but as long like the longer the fight goes on, less and less chance David or uh, David Hay would lose. You know what I mean to Shannon Briggs. But uh, anyway, let's. I want to see this fight. You know, let's give. I mean, hey, David Hale get a pay a huge payday. Same with uh, Briggs, you know. Um, let's go, champ. But uh, yeah, so and like I said, let the the top six elite guys let them fight each other. Now I know uh, Anthony Joshua is not fighting the top, uh, you know, six guy um, in Dominic Brazil, but after that, you know, I expect Joshua to, uh, you know. To fight someone, you know, a higher caliber. Now, I'm hearing things that, uh, I was hearing that, you know, uh, Joseph Parker was going to be the IBF mandatory, but now I'm hearing he might have to fight, um, shit, who was it? Um, I think, uh, Pulev. I don't know if that's true, but anyway, um, I'd like to see Anthony Joshua, you know, get past Brazil, which, you know, you know, you know, who knows what will happen in that fight. Uh, Brazil's a tall guy, you know, he's pretty athletic. But can he take the power of Joshua? I doubt it. Um, but, you know, if Joshua, 
if he gets by Brazil, I want to see him fight an elite guy. Now, this video is not about that, but anyway, David Hay versus Shannon Briggs. Let's see it. Everyone wants to see it. I want to see it. Let's do it. Let's go champ in the UK. Shannon Briggs wants to uh, he wants to run uh, David Hay out of town. That's what he said. He wants to run him out of the UK. And in the uh, you know the uh, the interview, he said uh, or the press conference after he said, you know he uh, David Hay's got a bunch of houses, a bunch like you know everywhere over the world. He's like you can go live the you can go live there, you know. Um, and I'll I'll own the UK. But uh, anyway, you gotta love Shannon Briggs. But uh, actually, I want to play a clip. Um, yeah, I want to play a clip of Shannon Briggs. What he was saying, it was kind of, uh, you know, it just. How can you not be a fan of this guy? It's real short. I'm not impressed, but I just want to run over him because I feel like you know this is a sport. Whereas you know, uh, in my position, I had to get out here and take and, and take this take this position because uh, you know I'm, I'm 44 years old. A lot of people wrote, wrote me off. And it, it kind of seemed, it seems like to be blackballed in the business. But um, thanks to Chris Lawrence, who the only guy who believed in me. I called everybody. I called everybody in the business. Al Heyman, they told me to hold on. I'm still on hold. <laughs> they called everybody in the business. They turned me down. They told me, nah, I didn't nobody believe in me. Chris Lawrence called me on a Friday night and said, man, you should come back. And here I am today. And a million, million, I, I, I want to say millions. I don't want to jump the gun. But thousands of fans around the world are saying, let's go champ. And again, that mantra started for me. Being at home, depressed after my last fight with Klitschko, um, Vitaly, which I suffered a broken arm in the first round, um, torn tendons, tendons and ligaments. I fought him for 12 rounds with uh, with one arm, and I didn't even get a dime for it, not one penny. So I went home, I got a job. Uh, I, during that process, I was down and out, I was depressed. Um, I was just really feeling bad about myself. I contemplated jumping off a bridge a few times, and then I had my daughter. And my, I have two boys and a girl. I had my daughter. She's four years old now. And it was just looking at her eyes, her beautiful face. It told me I had to live. I had to come back and make something, you know, make something of myself for my baby girl. And here I am today in London, England, being, you know, accepted by you guys. And it's an unbelievable feeling. It's not, I mean, I won the title twice. I, I fought Troy Foreman in 97. I won it again against Lyakovich. I think that was 2008. <laughs> so, okay, pardon, <laughs> Yeah, so I did that in 2006, and then um, with this feeling here, coming to England, and, you know, uh, I've been everywhere. I've been to Japan, I fought in K1, I fought in Germany, and the fans were great and loved me as well. I fought in Poland, shout out to my boy Raddick, um, who came from Poland just to see me, you know. Um, I've been around the world a few times, and, but to be coming to come to England, and, you know, you, you guys speak English. <laughs> just, you just your language, so. Just, you genuinely come to play, so. Basically, all I wanted to you know, play, um, I mean, you gotta have a soft spot for, for Shannon Briggs, um, you know, it's a real underdog story, really, I mean, when you, when you look at his age, you know, um, the fact that he does have asthma, anyway, regardless, you know, it's not like he's, he's going out there beating, uh, A or B level guys, you know, but, uh, but this Shannon, you know, I want to see Shannon Briggs, see what he's made of. You know what? Let's see what he's got. Put him in there with David Hay, like I was saying. You know, um, why not? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, basically give my thoughts on this. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, uh, like a majority of the people want to see this fight. But uh, let me know who doesn't want to see this fight. That's that's what I'm curious. Whoever doesn't want to see this, let me know in the comment section. And, you know, give a reason why. I mean, obviously there's reasons, but I want to hear your take, you know, why you don't want to see this. But it is what it is. If you liked the video, subscribe. Also, check me out on Twitter, at MMABoxingTalk1. Peace.